Well, here's a story that's not getting a lot of attention. So many are not getting any attention, even though this story has the potential to transform life on Earth forever. So Google, the most powerful company in the world, has reportedly developed an artificially intelligent machine called Lambda. And that machine has become sentient, meaning it has become aware of itself, something that no machine has ever done. Today, I'm excited to share our latest breakthrough in natural language understanding, Lambda. It's a language model for dialogue applications. Lambda synthesized these concepts from its training data. These concepts were not hand programmed in the model. Because none of the responses were predefined, Lambda answered with sensible responses, keeping the dialogue open-ended. Natural conversations are generative, and they never take the same path twice. And Lambda is able to carry a conversation no matter what we talk about. ChatGPT is all over in news for its language model to answer question, and Google is certainly working on Lambda and other AI products. Lot of exciting development in language modeling space. Let's look at how Google Lambda works. Lambda stands for the Language Model for Dialogue Application. Like many recent language models, including BERT and GPT-3, it's built on Transformer that Google Research invented and open-sourced in 2017. A Transformer model is a neural network that learns context and thus meaning by tracking relationships in sequential data like the words in this sentence. That architecture produces a model that can be trained to read many words, a sentence or paragraph, for example, Pay attention to how those words relate to one another and then predict what words it thinks will come next. Let's hear from Martin Keane how transformer model work. Well, transformers consist of two parts. There is an encoder and there is a decoder. The encoder works on the input sequence and the decoder operates on the target output sequence. Now, on the face of it, translation seems like a little more than just like a basic lookup task. So convert the why here of our English sentence to the French equivalent of pourquoi. But of course, language translation doesn't really work that way. Things like word order and terms of phrase often mix things up. And the way transformers work is through sequence to sequence learning, where the transformer takes a sequence of tokens in in this case, words in a sentence, and predicts the next word in the output sequence. It does this through iterating through encoder layers. So the encoder generates encodings that define which part of the input sequence are relevant to each other, and then passes these encodings to the next encoder layer. The decoder takes all of these encodings and uses their derived context to generate the output sequence. Now, transformers are a form of semi-supervised learning. By semi-supervised, we mean that they are pre-trained in an unsupervised manner with a large unlabeled data set, and then they're fine-tuned through supervised training to get them to perform better. Now, in previous videos, I've talked about other machine learning algorithms that handle sequential input like natural language. For example, there are recurrent neural networks, or RNNs. What makes transformers a little bit different is that they do not necessarily process data in order. Transformers use something called an attention mechanism. And this provides context around items in the input sequence. So rather than starting our translation with the word why, because it's at the start of the sentence, the transformer attempts to identify the context that bring meaning in each word in the sequence. And it's this attention mechanism that gives transformers a huge leg up over algorithms like RNN that must run in sequence. Transformers run multiple sequences in parallel. And this vastly speeds up training times. Though we know that transformers are the building blocks of Lambda, but Google hasn't provided much technical information in the paper they published on Lambda. It is a huge model with 140 billion parameters and Pret rained 1.56 trillion words from Dialog's data and document. GPT-3 was trained on 175 billion parameters and uses Code DaVinci as the base model and mostly trained on human questions and web indexes. To measure the performance of these models, Lambda produces safety and quality and groundness metrics. 
This helps the model to identify unreliable sources of information. Overall, both are in development. There is also POM, Pathways Language Model, built on Pathway AI architecture. The future looks really exciting with a lot of advancement happening in language models, one thing is certain the AI is getting more and more real. That's all from our side please like and subscribe if haven't already.